Almost a 1,000 police officers will be on duty tomorrow for two protests, one by the English Defence League and the other by Unite Against Fascism. Religious groups, the City Council and the Police and Crime Commissioner issued a statement saying the EDL aren't welcome in the city. Well, the EDL said it's non-violent and its protest is to pressure the government to deal with what they say is the abuse of English girls by Muslim men in the wake of the abuse scandal in Rotherham. Mark Goff reports. The two groups protested last year. Then, several people were arrested. Tomorrow, the EDL will gather at a bar in Broad Street before moving to Centenary Square at 1pm. Unite Against Fascism will gather in Chamberlain Square. Both protests have been allowed to take place from 11 in the morning, but must finish by 3 in the afternoon. The English Defence League say they have 12 issues they're protesting about. Among them are the so-called Trojan horse affair in Birmingham's schools and what they describe as the national issue of abuse of English girls by Muslim men in the wake of the scandal in Rotherham. Birmingham City Council, religious leaders and the police and crime commissioner issued a statement saying the EDL isn't welcome in Birmingham. Barisa said they've been asked several times by the police if they'd host the EDL protesters because their bar is big enough to accommodate the group. They said no repeatedly, but they say they have little option other than to help the police manage this situation. The police said they appreciate Barisa's support in what's been a difficult and reluctant decision for them. I think the bottom line is the EDL, because we live in a democratic country, can go where the hell they like. And my view is that if they are going to come to Birmingham, they want to come to Birmingham, then it's best to try and manage that as well as possible. Barisa is a great location to manage this uh, this particular rally. The concerns are is just that, you know, we could do without this, to be honest. I mean, the street's more than well equipped to accommodate something like this. I mean, you know, it's, uh, what, a thousand people? We can we can handle up to 50,000 people. So from a logistics point of view, it's not a big deal. It's just that it's the, the stigma that goes with it, really. Police say they'll deploy a substantial number of officers. Barisa says it doesn't support the EDL and will donate takings from the day to Midlands Air Ambulance. Mark Goff, ITV News, Birmingham.